Hey guys, what up? It's Cody here, and today I'm bringing you a new Photoshop tutorial how to create this logo right here. So let's just jump right into it. So, what you do is you go to File, New, and then you're going to make your width 800 pixels and your height 800 pixels, and then click OK. So, now the first thing we're going to want to do is make our canvas black, making sure our foreground color is black, hold alt and delete and that will make our foreground color or our canvas black. I'm just going to unlock this layer right here. So now we're going to go to our ellipse tool and drag an ellipse holding shift so that way it's a perfect circle and we're going to let go and we're going to get our move tool and we're going to move it towards the center. Yeah that's fine. So now we are going to right click this Go to blending options and then we are going to click inner glow and then click on inner glow. We are going to make a light color, whatever color you guys want. I might use a light color, so let's go with a yellow. Yellow would be two fifty five. And then we are going to make our size 35 pixels. And then we are going to click on Outer Glow. Click on that. And then we are going to make the same color. So to make, just make this 0, 0. And then click OK. And then we are going to set our op opacity to 50% and our size to 54 pixels and then click OK. So now we are going to duplicate this layer and to do that you would hit right click on it and then you go to duplicate layer and I'm just going to name it shape one copy whatever it had pre-selected and now we're going to hold control and T with this layer selected and then we're going to hold shift and drag and make this a little bit tinier that's fine and then we're going to apply the transformation, put our move tool and drag it to the center. And now we are going to right click this, blending options. We are going to go to our outer glow. We are going to make our opacity 100%. And we are going to make our size 30 pixels. That is fine. And then we are going to go to inner glow. We are going to select our gradient. We are going to come down here, click on this first yellow, click on the color, select a light gray. Let's just do 42, 42, 42. Click, uh, hold on, never mind. That's, uh, let me see if this is dark or not. 27, 27, 27. Uh, 42 is lighter. 42, 42, 42. Click OK. Then we go over to this other yellow. Click on that. And then we would go to 27, 27, 27. Click OK. And then click OK. So now that we have our gradient, we are going to put our source to center. So it fills it into the center. And then our, we are going to click OK. And then press T for our text tool. Or we could just click it right here. Then you're going to drag a text box around your circle. You're going to set the font to 450 pixels and birth of a hero. Here is your font. I'm going to just set my yellow as my text color. And then we are just going to type a D. Oh, that looks nice. And then we're going to drag that to the center. So now we are going to right click shape one's layer, copy layer style, go to our text layer, right click on that and hit paste layer style. So now you can see our text has that inner glow and that outer glow. So now you're going to right click your text layer, go to blending options, click on your inner glow and make sure you disable that. So now you're going to go to your outer glow, make that a nice Mm, let me think here. 
Make that a nice 100% opacity. Uh, and then a 24 size pixel. 24 pixel size. 24. Ooh, that looks nice. I like that. Click OK. And now we are going to rotate our text by holding Control and T and then going and rotating it. I'm pretty sure my logo is rotated like this. So we're just going to drag that into the center. And now we are going to place a gloss on our text to make sure it is looking like 3D. So we're going to make a new layer. We're going to go to our elliptical marquee tool, which is right here. Elliptical marquee tool. And then we are going to set our feather to 0 pixels. And then we are going to make a simple oval, like so. And then we are going to make our gradient tool. And then we are going to make sure that it is black to white. And then we will drag bottom to top. And then we are going to move this right here. And then let's hold control and T to make sure it fits into the circle that it's going to be in. A little more. That's fine. And then we're going to set our opacity to 70%. And then we will also put our player style as screen. And then we are done. We're going to apply our text. Hit Control D to deselect it. And that might be a little too bright. Let's just turn our opacity down to 50. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So, put it right there. And there you guys go. That's how you make that emblem that I have right there. Okay, so now we're going to go to File, Save As. And we are going to save it as logo, whatever you want. Save it as a Photoshop document first. So if you ever want to go back and edit it which you will if you want to create the desktop background and then you would go to file save as again and then go to Photoshop JPEG and then save it as your, your JPEG and then I'm just gonna make the file size 10 click OK and then now I'm gonna minimize this Photoshop go to my YouTube click on this Go to choose choose file. Go to logo two as your JPEG and click save changes. And then it should save right there. That looks sexy, I like that. I might keep that. Okay, well thanks for watching. Hope you guys like Please leave some comments, give me some feedback if I'm doing the right thing with my channel, if you guys like these Photoshop tutorials, if you like everything I'm posting. If you want to just be a nice guy and leave me like, oh Dakota, you're so amazing, I might love you forever. I might even sub box you. So, um, thank you for your time. I hope you had fun creating this Photoshop document. Thanks, bye.